Story the first. Which tells of the looking glass and the bits of it. Attention, please. We're going to begin. When we go to the end of the story, we shall know more than we do now. There was a wicked troll. She was one of the very worst sort. She was the devil. One day, he was in a very temper. For he had made a, had made a looking glass which had this property that everything good and pretty that was reflected in it shriveled away in it to almost nothing but everything that was no good and looked ugly came out plain and showed even more than it was the most beautiful landscapes looked like boiled spinach in the glass and the best of men grew, grew hydos or elves stood on their heads and had no stomachs their faces were so distorted that they couldn't be recognized and if anyone had a freckle, you could be sure it would spread all over his nose and mouth. It was extraordinarily funny, the devil said. If a kind pill's thought passed through a, man, a man's mind, there came such a grimness in the glass. That the troll devil couldn't but laugh at his clever invention. Everyone who attended the troll school, for he kept the troll school, spread the news all about that the miracle had come to pass. You could now see, they said, what the world and mankind really looked like. They ran about everywhere with the glass at last there wasn't a country or person left who hadn't been disordered in it after that they decided to fly up to heaven itself and make fun of the angels and of god the higher they flew with the glass the more it grimaced till they could scarcely keep hold of it up and up they flew nearer to god and his angels and then the glass quivered so fearfully with grimacing that it fell out of their hands and was dashed on the ground below where it broke into hundreds of millions, billions, and even more pieces. And that a very thing made matters worse than before. For some of the bits were hardly as big as a grain of sand. And these flew all about in the wide world. And when they got into people's eyes, they stuck there, and the people either saw everything crooked or else had only eyes for what was wrong in anything. For every little splinter of the glass had the has kept, no, had kept the same power that the whole glass had. Some people even got a little bit of the glass into their, tea, into their hearts and that was horrible for the heart because just like a lump of ice. Some of the pieces were so big and big that they were used for window glass, but 
it didn't pay to look at your friends through those window panes. Other pieces were made into spectacles and that was a bad business. If people put on those spectacles in order to see correctly and judge rightly, the evil one laughed till he split it tickled him so, but out in the world little bits of glass were still flying about in the air. Now we are to hear all about it.